Hi, my name is Andrea Steele and I'm a psychology lecturer um, at Murdoch University. I currently teach PSY 141, which is our Introduction to Psychology unit. So at Murdoch, we offer undergraduate psychology through either the Bachelor of Art Psychology or the Bachelor of Science Psychology. So these degrees, in terms of the core units that you do in psychology, are identical. It very much um, depends on what you want at your testimony at the end of your graduations. So I did a Bachelor of Arts in Psychology, and it's very much up to you which you would prefer. Um, we certainly look at the Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of Science um, equally in terms of applications into um, fourth year or further study. So in terms of your study in psychology, a Bachelor of Art Psychology or Bachelor of Science Psychology is a three year or three year equivalent degree. Within that degree, there are a set number of psychology units that you'll need to complete, but we also have other units um, such as general electives and um, Murdoch's fine units that you'll need to complete. So in terms of what would pair nicely with a psychology major, we have a lot of students who do a double major with psychology and human resource management, um, also with marketing or communications. So with those degrees, psychology pairs really nicely because it allows you to have an understanding of the human behaviour behind um, those different disciplines. We also have a lot of students doing a double major in psychology and criminology. Um, again, they pair really nicely because um, psychology and understanding human behaviour is really at the root of criminology and understanding criminal behaviour. I really enjoy working at Murdoch because we have such a diverse base of students um, and it's really interesting to see the, the experience that these students bring to the classroom. So I feel like I'm constantly learning from my students and my students can learn from me. Murdoch Psychology has a number of industry links. So we have links with Western Australian Police and the Australian Federal Police. So one of our academics is looking at um, perceptual expertise and the identification of fingerprints that are alike. We've also had a psychology PhD student who's um, recently completed his project um, with Hockey Australia looking at perceptual expertise, so the ability of the hockey goalkeeper to, in responding to a penalty shot. We also have partnerships with Defence Science Technology Organisation, so again looking at that perceptual expertise. So to wrap up, we have a lot of these industry partnerships that really enrich the research that we do and ensuring that the research that we do is applicable to the real world and, and the demand that's out there for better understanding human behaviour. So in undergrad psychology, the focus is really on understanding those key concepts and theories that underlie psychology. In third year, we do have the option of a psychology placement unit, which really builds on research experience and skills, which hopefully then leapfrogs into a honours degree or a graduate diploma in your fourth year. Um, most of the practical experience exists in the fourth year and beyond in the psychology program, which gives students those practical um, elements and practical experience in actually dealing with clients. So our degree is fully accredited by the Australian Accreditation Psychology Council um, and they dictate the graduate competencies that graduates need to have once they complete a particular degree. So for our master's students, um, they're required to have a certain amount of hours of experience with placements with both external and internal clients. Employment prospects for psychology graduates is really good. About 40% of psychology graduates who um, register with um, register as a general psychologist will end up in private practice, but the rest will end up in a variety of fields. So um, the public sector, we have psychologists who enter um, schools as uh, educational psychologists. We have psychologists that will end up working in business, um, so consulting externally or internally. Um, we have um, students who end up working in sporting fields. So you might not necessarily have a job title as a psychologist, but you're applying what you know um, to the field and understanding human behaviour um, in various disciplines. So it's a really important time for people to be studying psychology. This year we've obviously seen a global pandemic and a lot of people are struggling with their mental health during this time due to social isolation, being away from families, bereavement. So having people that understand and can support mental health is really important. 
For future um, psychology students, I recommend you take units in high school that you're interested in. Um, there are no prerequisites at Murdoch for entering into a psychology degree. Um, some schools do offer psychology in the final years of high school, um, so taking that unit might um, give you a bit of an understanding of some of the topics that we might touch on in psychology at university, but certainly um, there's no expectation that you have done any previous study in psychology when entering into a first year psychology degree at Murdoch. One thing I wish I could go back and tell my former self about first entering uni is that there's no need to put so much pressure on, on myself to to know at that young age or at the early stages of a university career what job I wanted to do at the end of it. I think as you, um, as you further your studies and you gain discipline-based knowledge, those questions will start to be worked out because you'll naturally be drawn to some areas and won't be as interested in others and that's perfectly okay. It's about learning um, about what you're really interested across time. As an academic, when I see students who first enter university, maybe a little bit unsure about um, where they're headed in their careers and, and what their interests are in psychology, and then seeing them at their graduation ceremonies once they've completed a degree, it's really enriching to see how much growth has gone on during that time. And they come out and, and usually have, you know, a, a clearer direction of where they're headed um, professionally, but have also developed um, rich skills in, in things like critical thinking which is so valuable across a number of careers. 